Following sharp increases in the homicides of black men and suicides of white men, analysis showed that the rate of gun deaths in the United States of America also have reached alarmingly high numbers. Although having declined in the 1990s, but rising steadily over the past decade and especially during COVID, a record 48,953 deaths in the US or about 15 fatalities per 100,000 people were caused by guns last year. While men are far more likely to die from guns, surprisingly enough, gun-regulated deaths in women and children have also risen. An assistant professor of pediatrics and emergency medicine at Emory University School of Medicine analyzed the US firearm fatality rates from 1990 to 2021 using data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. More than 1.1 million people were shown to have died of guns since 1990, which is incomprehensible. Gun-related homicide rates have been the highest amongst black men aged 20 to 24, with the fatalities per 100,000 people in this group being 142. This was a 74% increase since 2014. Homicide rates are as much as 23 times higher among black men and as much as nearly four times higher among Hispanic men than among white men all in all. The analysis further went on to show that gun fatality rates from suicides were highest among white men aged 80 to 84 years at 47 fatalities per 100,000 people in this group, which again is a 41% increase since 2007. Since the 1990s, the geographical distribution of firearm deaths has shifted with gun death rates decreasing in the Western United States and increasing in the Southern United States, researchers said. The trend of increasing firearm fatalities was, however, unfortunately found to be crossing all sexes. Published after the mass shootings in Virginia and Colorado, the analysis showed no affirmation to why the firearm deaths were on an increase. But it did, however, show the groups that are at a higher risk from gun violence that policy changes could help lessen, such as the implementation of suicide prevention programs, violation prevention, firearm buyback programs, and safe storage.